Ali Avarjan, National Institute for the Hearing Handicapped, commemorating the Silver Jubilee. Giving sounds to silence. As siblings and friends dance to music, little Sarita is lost in a world devoid of sound. At the tender age of 10, she is one of the millions of hearing impaired in India. But is this her destiny and of others like her? To live in a world of silence, devoid of sound, the hearing impaired meet the challenges of their destiny stands an amazing endeavor. The Ali Avarjan National Institute for the Hearing Handicapped. An autonomous body under the Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment, Government of India. For the past 25 years, this institution has been changing destinies. Giving sounds to silence. Thousands of children, men and women, trapped in a soundless world, have found a savior in this National Institute. Inspired by the success stories of others, Sarita, holding the hands of her mother, walks into the caring embrace of this great institution. This little girl is yet unaware of the significance of sound. But her mother is anxious to seek proficient counsel on the destiny of her child. Both of them are now on the path to reap the benefits of the endeavors of some selfless servers of society. It was the former governor of Maharashtra, Ali Avarjan, who inspired and propelled the then Ministry of Social Welfare Government of India to set up a National Institute for the Hearing Impaired in Mumbai. The first location of the Institute was in the premises of the famous drive-in theatre of Bandra East. The Institute was inaugurated by Mr. M. C. Narasimhan, the then Joint Secretary, Ministry of Welfare, Government of India, on Martyrs Day, the 9th of August, 1983. Dr. A. K. Mukherjee was its first director. Not long afterwards, another four branches opened their doors in other parts of the country. Kolkata in 1984, New Delhi 1984, Sikandrabad in 1986, Bhubaneswar 1986. Within four years of its inception, the institute got its own fully equipped building in Bandra West. Dr. Rajendra Kumari Bajpai, the then Central Minister of Social Welfare, inaugurated it on the 26th of May, 1987. Rising quickly a year later, in 1988, the Institute was declared a Science and Technology Institution by the Ministry of Science and Technology, Government of India. From the onset, the NIHH, as it is popularly known, undertook to introduce global standards practices and technology to redeem the lives of the hearing impaired. 25 years of thinking global while acting local has made NIHH a model institution in the country. Creation of skilled manpower to treat the hearing and speech impaired. Latest technology. Emphasis on research and development. World-class clinical and therapeutic services. Caring for all age groups, from newborns to 100-year-olds. Cost-effective services to the needy. Reaching out to all the areas of the country. Socio-economic rehabilitation. Material development for education and awareness empowerment by education and sign language. 
their inclusion and sustenance in mainstream society, giving them respect, dignity and freedom. To achieve these objectives in 25 years, several departments have come into existence. Audiology, speech and language pathology, education, clinical psychology, material development, information and documentation center, socio-economic rehabilitation, outreach and extension services. They all work as one unit with a missionary zeal to remove the suffering from the lives of the hearing and speech impaired. A combination of knowledge, skill, loving care, and the spirit of service. This is the hallmark of the manpower trained by the NIHH. No wonder then that in 25 years, NIHH people have become highly respected and sought after professionals all over the world. Sarita has been through a variety of tests by some of the best professionals in the field. Hearing impairment is not just about a pair of ears. It's about speech, language, emotions, social relationships and other aspects. The Institute offers a number of courses approved by the Rehabilitation Council of India and the Department of Technical Education. also affiliated to various universities. This institute is the only one of its kind in Asia to start B.Ed. in hearing impairment, begun in 1985. Later, it added many other courses. Orientation programs, seminars, workshops, short-term training programs. These and other courses are run at the institute's various centers and in association with other institutions. NIHH not only produces highly specialized professionals and grassroots level personnel, but has also ushered in an educational revolution through inclusive education for the hearing and speech impaired. The focus is now on reading and sustaining the children in mainstream education. Preschool Movement, launched in 1990. Catch Them Young is the crux of success in the overall rehabilitation of children. The earlier they are brought, the better it is. The parents of Sweet Vritika have become emotionally unstable when they realize that their little fairy does not hear anything at all. Such families are now taking refuge in the Institute's Parent Infant Program, which was launched in 1992. Skilled professionals interact with the parents and show them how to understand their children and interact with them. The program attempts to develop emotionally stable, confident and competent families, conducive to a nurturing and stimulating learning environment. An MOU has been signed with Washington University to adopt the grammatical analysis of elicited language, which is a standardized test for assessment at pre-sentence level. In 25 years, the NIHH has indigenized and developed a variety of tests for diagnosis and therapy. Software-based programs are increasingly being used by various departments. Solutions of almost all speech-related problems are also available with the NIHH. The Institute has a dedicated lab for making individualized molds. This lab also handles fitting, analyzing, or even repair of hearing aids and appliances. Hearing aids and molds are distributed under the ADIP scheme of the Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment. NIHH provides a wide range of hearing aids available at 30% less than market price 
making them much more affordable to common people. The Institute has won a national award for developing an indigenous cross-hearing aid. Keeping pace with global developments, genetic counseling was also started. NIHH is also the assessing, referring and management authority for cochlear implants. Little Sarita has been introduced to the world of sound and now she is learning to comprehend the complex world of speech and language. A powerful tool that helps in rehabilitation of the hearing impaired is the sign language. It is the language of the hearing impaired. Just like one of society's many languages, NIHH vigorously promotes the Indian version of the sign language. Creating awareness about hearing impairment in the masses has always been high on the NIHH agenda. The Department of Material Development makes films, audiovisuals, and print materials to support all activities to that end with a special focus on regional languages books, posters, stickers, pamphlets and holdings are produced for distribution across India NIHH provides information about its activities to professionals and parents through its quarterly newsletter NINAD Radio Program. In 2002-2003, a mega radio series of 48 episodes in Marathi was broadcast on all India radio. A phenomenal success, reaching the ears of 2 crore 40 lakh people in Maharashtra. From a corner in a room in 1983, the NIHH library has grown to a centrally air-conditioned place stocking an enormous collection of books and reference materials. The computer center was opened in 1987 with just two PCs. In 2008, it has 120 PCs. The center also fulfills the institute's software development requirements. WWW dot AYJ NIHH dot NIC dot IN A to Z information about the Ali Jung National Institute and its services can be accessed here. The Disability Line was launched in the year 2005. Information on disabilities is now only a phone call away. You need only dial based on an interactive voice response system. In Maharashtra and Goa Circle, in Delhi Circle, in MP Circle, available on local call. Gradually, it will cover the entire country. www.checkhearing.org This is an online hearing assessment package developed by the Institute. It can be accessed from anywhere, on home PC or at the nearest cyber cafe. The NIHH has launched a drive against rubella or German measles, which seriously harms a developing embryo and may cause deafness by birth or any other serious medical defect. All training, education and empowerment comes to naught unless a person is rehabilitated into mainstream society. Recently, a web-based course has been adopted with the help of the National Technical Institute of the Deaf, NTID Rochester, USA. This enables Indian students to attend lectures simultaneously along with the NTID students. It will mean less requirement of infrastructure and maybe no faculty at all for training in India. The NIHH teams of multi-professionals armed with diagnostic equipment and fitment aids provide services by camping in rural 
and far flung areas right from Kashmir to Kanyakumari and from the west coast to the northeast when the district rehabilitation centers DDRCs under Gramin Punarvasan Yojana a program of the Central Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment was started in the year 2000 24 DDRCs were allotted to the NIHH the institute has also contributed towards making the Badlapur Nagar Panchayat of Thani district a barrier free township the panchayat received a national award for this in 2002 CRC Bhopal also received the national award in 2006 for providing barrier free environment a large number of rural employment opportunities have been generated in various parts of the country to achieve all this apart from its own training programs a high-level collaboration with NGOs across the country has been established by giving them financial and technical assistance training center for the adult day, a collaboration of the Ali Abadjan National Institute and the Boys Town this dream Institute is the largest inclusive learning set up in Asia Boys Town run by the St. Gabriel Brothers, trains 100 hearing impaired students of the NIHH every year, alongside their regular students. 100% placement is guaranteed. Confidence, determination and commitment are evident on their faces, as their destinies have been changed by the Ali Avar Jung Institute. They are surging ahead towards goals of their own. The Institute has been providing hundreds of placements every year in public and private sectors. In 1996, it received the National Award for the Best Employer of the Handicapped. One of the biggest achievements of the Institute is that organizations have now started coming themselves for campus recruitment. www.jobsfordeaf.org This is a website launched by the Institute to assist persons with hearing impairment, their employers and professionals to find suitable jobs for candidates. The Ali Avarjan National Institute has excelled in continuous research and development to improve the lives of the hearing and speech impaired. Some of the ongoing research projects are genetic study of deafness in India, screening of hearing in infants, Hindi learning package, socio-economic impact and additional cost incurred in the upbringing of hearing impaired people in India. Development of kit for auditory training for speech. Smart aid, an assistive device for the hearing and speech impaired. In 2008, the Silver Jubilee year, the NIHH received the ISO certification. As the Institute celebrates the Silver Jubilee of service to the hearing handicapped, its present director, R. Rangasai, leads this movement of changing destinies with a vision that sees India going global in this service to humanity. India should uh, forge ahead in terms of developing solutions uh, in addressing the needs of persons with hearing impairment, not only to address the needs of those in the country, but India play has a unique position globally in this field uh, wherein the responsibility should transcribe geographically. It is this vision that is guiding the world-class professionals of the Ali Avarjung National Institute who see their efforts as a mission of selfless service. With great commitment, they leave no stone unturned to achieve the goals of their mission changing society's mindset so that it develops in-bill safeguards, respect and empowerment of the hearing and speech impaired has been the real goal of the Institute and the achievement of this is the real silver lining for the NIHH in its 25 years. On this occasion of the Silver Jubilee in a resurgent India, the NIHH has set for itself much higher standards and even higher goals. Sarita's life 
has undergone a huge change. With her impairment, no longer a hindrance, little Sarita bravely prepares for a new life. The girl to whom high decibel music was incomprehensible can even hear the pouring of water in a glass. Giving sounds to silence since 25 years. The Ali Avarjan National Institute for the Hearing Handicapped. Ali Avarjan National Institute for the Hearing Handicapped Commemorating the Silver Jubilee Giving Sounds to Silence From the onset, the NIHH, as it is popularly known, undertook to introduce global standards, practices and technology to redeem the lives of the hearing impaired. Creation of skilled manpower to treat the hearing and speech impaired. Latest technology. Emphasis on research and development. World-class clinical and therapeutic services. Caring for all age groups, from newborns to 100 year olds, cost effective services to the needy, reaching out to all the areas of the country, socio economic rehabilitation, material development for education and awareness, empowerment by education and sign language, their inclusion and sustenance in mainstream society, giving them respect dignity and freedom. Changing society's mindset so that it develops inbuilt safeguards, respect and empowerment of the hearing and speech impaired has been the real goal of the Institute and the achievement of this is the real silver lining for the NIHH in its 25 years. Giving sounds to silence since 25 years.